Today we're going to show the basic process steps of uh, filling a chink joint on 14 inch logs. First thing we do, we're going to tuck in some 3 inch foam backing rod. This does a good job at filling in the, the big joint so you don't have to fill it all up with, with the perma chink. Load the bulk holding gun out of the pail and put the chinking on in a uniform fashion. The logs are rather uniform, so the chink joint should also come out quite uniform as well. I like to use a little bit of water so that the chinking will have less of a tendency to stick to the back of the knife. You don't want any more water than just a little bit of moisture. Too much water, you're just going to have the pigment run out of the chinking and down the facing of the log and it's going to be a mess. Go ahead and trowel it so that you get a nice, straight, uniform chink joint adhering to the top and bottom logs without any air gaps. That's about it. You can spend as little or as much time as you'd like troweling the chink joint, depending if you want a very pristine look or if you want something a little, a little bit more rustic. But definitely you need to make sure you press hard enough so that the chinking sticks to the wood so there is total adhesion, but not so hard that you make a mess out of it. And that should be considered complete.